Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. On this channel, we post videos that will help you tackle many technical scenarios on a daily basis. So for today's episode, we've picked the most common technical issue for all Outlook users. Yes, we are talking about Outlook not receiving emails error. This error is so common that many people end up switching their email managers from Outlook to other service providers. But like any other technical issue, there are methods to fix the Outlook account when it stops receiving emails. Let's take a look at some of these methods and help you get your Outlook account working again without encountering any errors. Before talking about the methods to fix the error, let's discuss why the errors occur in the first place. The truth is, different factors can cause Outlook to stop receiving emails. Some of these reasons include a network error, where your PC might be running into a network error which is restricting you from connecting to Outlook server. Outlook server has no response, where Outlook server might not be responding at the moment. In this case, you can wait for a couple of hours to check your email again. A firewall restriction, where the emails might also get blocked due to a firewall restriction. The spam folder, where the emails may have shifted to the spam folder accidentally. And lastly, wrong credentials. You might have entered the wrong credentials while logging into your Outlook account. Check your credentials credentials properly and try once again. So what can you do when Outlook won't receive emails? Since different factors can trigger this error, you'll need to try different solutions to fix this error. First, let's discuss each of these solutions individually so that you can again start receiving emails on your Outlook account. First, let's check the junk folder. No doubt the junk folder is a great feature to protect users against potential scam emails. It can also become a headache when Outlook starts sending important emails to that junk folder. So before we start with the advanced methods, let's check the junk folder in Outlook and look at the specific emails. So what you wanna do is look for the junk folder, then look for the specific email or emails that you're looking for. And then once you've found it, simply right click and then go to junk and then click not junk. Alternatively, you can also press Control, Alt and J to mark the email as not junk and move it back to the inbox folder. If you didn't find the email inside your junk folder, try checking your network connection. If your system is connected to a bad internet connection, you may find that your Outlook server isn't connecting, so you won't be receiving any emails. To check your internet connection, try loading a different website on your browser. If none of the websites open or load at a very slow speed, go ahead and restart your Wi-Fi router. Try logging into your Outlook account again and check if you're able to receive new email threads or not. Next tip is going to check if your inbox is full. If you didn't know, Outlook's inbox has a storage limitation. It can only hold a dedicated number of email threads. And once this number exceeds, you'll automatically stop receiving emails in Outlook. In this situation, you'll have to manually remove some of the email threads from your Outlook inbox, junk, and other folders. You can also use Outlook for the web sweeps feature to remove all the older emails from a specific recipient. Select the person whose emails you want to delete and then click sweep at the top of the screen. That's it. Outlook will automatically delete all of the old emails from that specific person. In case Sweep didn't fix the Outlook cannot receive emails issue, chances are that your emails have been transferred to the other folder. So let's check the other folder then. In Outlook, there are two major folders that store emails. The first folder is called Focus that stores high priority emails. And the second one is called Other that stores all the random emails. So if the email is not present in the focused inbox, then take a moment and check the Other folder. Go to Outlook on your PC and log in with your credentials. Once you're inside the Outlook inbox, switch to the Other folder. Right click the email that you want to move and tap move to focus inbox. You can also select always move to focus inbox if you want all the emails from this sender to always appear in the focused inbox. 
If you still have no luck finding the email, the next thing that you can do is check all the inbox filters. Outlook has an incredibly cool feature that allows users to specify different filters for incoming emails. But in many cases, people end up applying filters and forgetting about them after a few days, if not weeks. If that's the situation, you can simply go to your Outlook inbox and remove all the unnecessary filters that you might have placed. While you're at it, make sure to check the sort settings as well. Click filter and then select sort by date. This will sort the email list on the basis of their date and you'll see all of the recent emails at the top of the screen. Now, if someone is on your blocked list in Outlook, you won't be able to receive emails from that specific sender. So check the blocked senders list to remove that specific person from the list. Open Outlook on the web and select the settings button, which looks like a gear from the menu bar. Go to email and then click junk mail and look for the specific email that you want to unblock. Select the email address from the list and click the trash icon. This will remove the sender from your blocked list and their emails will automatically appear inside the inbox folder. If you want to receive all the emails from this specific sender in the future, you can also add them to your safe senders list. If someone is on your safe senders list, their emails will never be transferred to the junk folder and you'll always see them inside your inbox. Another way to fix Outlook cannot receive email errors is to check the email rules. Since it's a professional email manager, Outlook lets users specify certain rules for all incoming and outgoing emails. So if you specified a specific rule for incoming emails to automatically transfer them to a different folder, then make sure that we remove it. Let's check out how to remove email rules in Outlook. Go to Outlook for the web and open settings at the top of the web app. Then select email, then rules to go through all the rules that you may have set. If you want to remove a specific rule, simply click the trash icon next to it. This will remove the selected rule and all your messages will be routed back to the Outlook inbox. Outlook still not receiving emails? Check and remove some connected accounts. Now you might not know, but Outlook allows us to connect up to 20 email accounts. But if you use multiple accounts, there's a huge probability that your Outlook messages may not appear in the primary inbox. So remove unnecessary accounts that are linked to your Outlook profile and check your inbox again to see if the Outlook receiving emails issue is fixed or not. Open Outlook and then go to File and then Info. Expand the Account Settings option and click Manage profiles. A new window will appear. Click email accounts. Another window will appear. Check on the email account that you want to get rid of and then click on remove to remove that email from Outlook. Remove as many unnecessary accounts as possible and go back to your Outlook inbox to check if you are receiving emails or not. If you are still unable to receive emails on your Outlook account, it's time to check if the automatic refresh option is enabled or not. Like any other email manager, even Outlook has a dedicated feature to automatically refresh Outlook inbox in the background. Even though this feature is enabled by default, many users accidentally turn it off, which causes the Outlook not receiving emails error. Let's show you how to turn it on and automatically refresh your Outlook emails in the background. In Outlook's main window, select send and receive, then send and receive groups, and then select define send and receive groups. Now click the checkbox next to schedule and automatic send and receive every and set the time window after which you want Outlook to automatically refresh your inbox. Ideally, this should be 10 minutes or less. If none of the previous solutions work, it's quite possible that your Outlook account has been blocked. Please check if your account has been blocked or not. In general, Microsoft blocks specific accounts for security reasons. You can open Outlook on your browser and check if the account is blocked or not. In case it is blocked, you can either contact Microsoft customer support or use your registered mobile number to verify it. So these were our 10 best solutions to fix Outlook not receiving emails issue. Let us know in the comments section below which method worked for you. If you found this video helpful, then 
don't forget to give us a like on this video. If you want to see more videos from us in the future, then make sure that you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you receive all our future videos. Anyway, look after yourselves and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.